our students turn to online materials, whether those are recorded lectures, the class website, learning tools that they might be using to help them read, to annotate texts, to record voice memos, all kinds of things like that are part of the residential campus learning experience. Open Learning Residential is a really important group, I think, at MIT because they're providing pedagogical experience to really help us get to the next level when it comes to not necessarily what we teach, but how we teach it and how we deliver the content. We have a range of educational technology tools, the residential MITx platform, Canvas, and then a lot of tools that are plugged into Canvas, Gradescope, Panopto, things like this. We can sometimes shorten the cycle of trial and error that an instructor may need to go through with a particular tool or a teaching technique. We really wanted to innovate and change a course that's been taught for decades, 16851 Satellite Engineering. And it was taught in a traditional way, lecture style. And we got a lot of signals that we should maybe think about flipping the classroom. Right, so putting the lectures on videos, putting a lot of materials online, and then use the class time for more interactive discussions and problem solving with the students on the board. Before we move to photosynthesis, can we have our last polling question, please? So that is true. That's one of, that 59% of you, 60% of you have selected. We chunked the course into 12 modules and three sub-modules. So we ended up with 36 modules in total that cover all the major topics in satellite engineering. Keep it simple, keep it structured, keep it modular and hierarchical. Having these conversational lightboard videos really help with this notion that we, we do things together, we look at each other when we talk to each other. We've had tremendously positive feedback from the students about having this ability to right away re-watch things. Now one very interesting detail about Saturn is that it's not actually a sphere. Imagine if every faculty at MIT were to make a series of 10 little light bulb videos. Whoa, right? That would be amazing because people always want to know what we do. One of the things that makes MIT special is that we always challenge ourselves. We're never static, we're always trying to get better. And what's exciting to me about open learning and the residential group is this idea that it's not just up to each of us teachers, professors, instructors individually to figure it out. There's actually a team, there's an infrastructure there to help us and collaborate on getting better. And so I really encourage all our colleagues at MIT to take advantage of this amazing resource, this amazing opportunity. Sometimes I describe the residential education team as MIT's worst kept secret. It's a small and mighty team that knows how to transform and improve learning. And not everyone at MIT knows about it, but as soon as you talk to someone who has, who's been to one of those consultations, who's met with the staff, who's come to an event, then you'll know that this is the secret to better teaching at MIT.